Hey everybody, good evening. It's Mike with The Modern Collector. Um, you can't turn your phone while live, it says. I don't really care. Uh, anyways, uh, we're going to give a couple of minutes here. Turn this over. Um, until we get a couple of people to join us. Just getting the break set up. I appreciate everybody being patient with us. Uh, if you've got kids, you understand that uh, life don't care what time you have things planned. So, uh, yeah, we're, uh, we push things back to 8 o'clock. Um, but as advertised, we are going to gonna bring a couple of hockey cards here. So um, if you're like me, you've been waiting patiently, maybe not as patiently as you'd like, but waiting patiently for the NHL to resume. So we had uh, playoff hockey. I know it's round robin and playing games, but... Um, what we had over the weekend was the first hockey we've had since March, and I am so excited, and I'm hoping that you guys are too. So to commemorate, commemorate, guys, English language is my first language, um, but uh, you're going to notice that uh, I don't have a great grasp on it, but um, we're excited. And uh, to, uh, to commemorate the resumption of the 2020 hockey season, we have a couple of boxes of hockey cards. So if you notice, uh, they are not current 2019-20 upper deck hockey products what they are is um and you'll notice i have this out here so guys check out the in the description of the video um and i'll, I'll hopefully you guys can see this hat trick hobbies a uh, good friend of mine just getting into the hobby as a uh, more than just a collector you can see here we got his gmail address his facebook we're going to get uh, his site launched soon um my buddy John launched Hattrick Hobbies recently, and he's sponsoring half of this video. Um, so John over at Hattrick Hobbies, appreciate it. This box was courtesy of him. Um, we're big Bruins fans here, so if you're watching this video on YouTube, then obviously you're uh, you're not friends with us on Facebook, which is which where we're going to be here first. Um, but uh, yeah, we're big Bruins fans. This 2017-2018 Upper Deck Series 1 box, we are hunting the Charlie McAvoy Young Guns card. Which, uh, there's, a, there's a Jake DeBrusque in there too if you're a Bruins fan, um, which we are. But Charlie McAvoy, uh, former under-18 Team USA captain, uh, hopefully a future Bruins captain. And we hope he's a future All-Star at least. Um, but Cheeks is a great player for the Bruins and we love him and we want to get his Young Guns card. But this is my contribution to the break today. It's 2015-16 OPG Platinum. This is Connor McDavid's rookie year. Um, not easy to get boxes of 2015-16 hockey cards without spending an arm and a leg. Um, we got this for a reasonable price. So we preach collecting on a budget. This is a $140 box, which a little more than we normally spend. But for the chance to pull a, uh, a Connor McDavid rookie autograph out of here. So there is one autograph per box. We're hoping that it is one of those uh, Connor McDavid's. Um, but, uh, they're rare, but, uh, this 2015, 16 is the Connor McDavid rookie year, but we're gonna, we're gonna save that. Um, so again, John Hattrick hobbies, check us out in the description. We're going to put him in both the Facebook and the YouTube, check his stuff out. Um, actually pulled a, un of course he didn't do this live, but pulled a, uh, Jack Hughes rookie relic autograph number five of 10. That was a sick Absolutely sick pull. Um, wish he had done it live because you guys would have enjoyed watching it. I'm sure he freaked out, but uh, we would have freaked out as well. So, uh, John, we're going to put you over there, and we're going to jump right into this 1718. So it looks like we got a couple people watching. Welcome to the uh, the show, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if anybody's watching. So we are going to go – we're probably going to go a little quick because we do have two boxes tonight. Um We have two boxes tonight. This is a retail box. So uh, retail boxes of Upper Deck, they advertise one relic card. Hopefully it's an autograph. I guess we could get lucky. Um, but typically one relic card per box. Um, you've got your Young, young Guns. So if you collect hockey cards, uh, Young Guns are kind of where it's at. So eight cards per pack, 24 packs. Um, this is a, a retail box, so we don't have any... Uh, we don't have any guarantees of autographs. And as I usually do, I do want to apologize if you guys hear a child screaming or crying. It's my little man. Um, he's had a bit of a rough day. 
which I feel like uh, current, nothing in there, uh, current climate in the United States, we all have rough days. So don't, uh, don't hold it against the little guy if you hear him screaming. I'm going to uh, adjust the camera here. I do have a couple stands. Hopefully we pull some really cool stuff out of here. Um, I don't know if anybody's been watching hockey. I've been trying to watch as much as I can. Got a Jason Garrison on the back. We've been watching as much as I can. There he is. There's the little man screaming himself. I'm sure you can hear that in the background. Uh, Seth Jones on the front. Jacob Slavin, who had that uh, great goal the other day. Jonas Brodine. Cam Fowler. Justin Braun. Derek Forbert. Valtteri Filpula. And Jason Garrison. That's a derpy face right there, guys. Sorry, Jason, but you got to know that cameras are on you, bud. Um... Hockey's been pretty fantastic. Being a Bruins fan hasn't been as fantastic. But just being able to watch hockey, I'm, I'm super excited in that uh, the Avalanche finished me on that. Under a second, that was a crazy finish of that game, Brandon Dubinsky. Here's a Jake Ginsel. Here's a Brad Marchand. Bruins logo there in the foil. I don't know if you guys watch any of the... Uh, there's Young Guns, Riley Barber. So I think you get six Young Guns per box. We're going to put the Young Guns over here just so we know what we're dealing with. Mikhail Backlund, Derek Broussard, and Travis Ajax. Something was hiding in the back there. Christian Dvorak, um, who had a great game the other day for the uh, the Yotes. Um, as a Bruins fan, I am rooting for the Yotes. That's a team I would love to see them make a run. That would be awesome. This current playoff format. So... Just so you guys are aware, if I do see a hit in one of these boxes, I'm going to put it for last. We want to save some fun. There's Austin Matthews on the back. There's a Series 1 checklist with Pekka Rene. And is that Matt Murray on the back? I'm not going to look it up. Henrik Sedin, Dustin Brown, Ivan Provorov, who had a good game against the Bruins, unfortunately. Kevin Hayes, another Philadelphia player who had a great game against the Bruins. John Carlson. And Austin Matthews in his St. Pat's jersey. That's an awesome card. If it's one thing Upper Deck does, they do a really good job with these cards. They're, they're pretty. Um, we're going to give a couple of waves here. Maybe that will get you guys off my screen. <laughs> I'm doing this on my phone, so it keeps showing me everybody who's logging and watching. Uh, I'm glad you guys are watching. But I see less and less. Give me one second, guys. I got somebody bugging me here. I shouldn't say bugging, but here we go. Now I can see your comments. Let's see if I can get rid of that. So, if anyways, I can't see that's great. I mean, that's a. I know that baseball. I'm a big fan of Stadium Club. That's a good looking picture. I mean, I know he looks derpy in there too, but um, yeah, Upper Deck does a good job with the hockey stuff. Brian Little, there's Pekka Rene. See what I mean? That's a good looking card. I mean, no, it's a base card, but there's the Young Guns. Andres Borgram, Borgman for the Leafs. Trevor Lewis, the Testu, Nikita Kucherov, and his uh, St. Paddy's D. And Carl Soderberg, former Bruin. Soft Swede, guy with one eye. The, the one eye, one eye Willie. Yeah, these Young Guns cards. 20, uh, 17, 18. Which is the year that we're looking at here. Um, those Young Gun cards are nice. I should probably show you the back of these cards. Just to give you an idea. Every year has got a slightly different design for the Young Guns. But these are the these are the cards that people collect. So like uh, 05, 06, Crosby and uh, Ovechkin. They're in different series. Here's one in Series 2. Carl Haglin, Mantha, Sutter, Seabrook, Blick, Wheeler. That sweet haircut. Jimmy Vesey. Jake Allen, boy, sad, sad story of Jake Allen, man. Bennington just stole that job from him. Zach Bogosian. Yeah, so that 0506 series. Um, I'd like to do that at some point. Try and chase at least one of those guys. So Series 1 is Crosby. Series 2 is uh, Henrik Lundqvist is in Series 1 as well um, for the Young Guns. And Series 2 uh, is Ovechkin, TJ Brody... Said like Charlie Coyle with his Minnesota team, David Backus, Huberto, Max Domi, who's a uh, got one of those audio autos, uh, rookie autos in that set. 
and uh, Riley Sheehan. Wouldn't mind getting the uh, the Max Domi. His uh, his rainbow parallel autograph. This might be the hit right here, guys. Um, his rainbow autograph is the most difficult auto to pull, odds wise, uh, according to Cardboard Co Connection. Uh, there's a canvas in here. It's not a not a hit. Well, I mean, I guess it's a hit. There's only two in the box. But Darren Helm, Ricard Raquel, Terry looking in. Nikita Kucherov. That's a nice canvas card. If you're going to get a, a non-rookie, might as well get a guy that's going to lead the league in scoring. So these canvas cards are nice. Ryan Hartman, Casey Sezikis, and Tyler Sagan, former Bruin, number two overall pick behind Taylor Hall, who also had a great game for the Arizona Coyotes. I... I know I'm going to sound like a broken record on this break tonight, but I am really looking forward to that uh, that Yotes team. Colt Sevier. Blake Como. Tobias Ryder. There's a UD's portrait. Oh, nice card. Connor McDavid. The guy looks like he's 12 years old, guys. And just look at this card. He looks like he plays for a junior team. It's crazy to think that he might be the best player in the NHL. Maybe not all-around player, but the best offensive player in the NHL. UD Portraits, that's a beautiful card. We're going to – we'll sleeve you up. We haven't sleeved anything up yet, guys, so we're going to sleeve this sucker up. I got plenty of sleeves. And uh, John with Hat Trick, we're going to sleeve up anything that's halfway decent. I had a box in this one here, so I'll throw you in the back there. Connor McDavid looking on, everybody. Got a couple of cards left in this pack here. Alex Kalorn, Dale Weiss, Nicholas Backstrom, and Matthias Eklum. Eklum, Eklum, Eklum. I don't know. A lot of weird names in hockey. For the Nashville Predators, he's shaping something. End of his stick with a belt sander. Little weirdo. So Chez or uh, Sean... I don't I don't know if John you'd be able to I don't know if you guys want to tell John that we are breaking his box live right now. I figured he'd be watching, but uh I don't know, it looks like he's not. Jonathan Tapes. Toes. Zach Parise. Jean Gabriel Peugeot. Big fan of Peugeot. I like uh Jean Gabriel and Pierre Luc Dubois. Our, our, uh, what's going on, Chad Wico? Thanks for joining us and watching. Got another UD Portraits. Vladimir Tarasenko. Tank, as they call him, in St. Louis. Oh, thanks. What's going on, Johnson? Glad that you could join us. Um, I, I don't know if you got a chance to see. We uh, we pulled got a couple of UD Portraits. I'm not going to put the tank up there, but we did put McDavid in the background, just so you guys could see. Kim Ward. Kelly Yarncrock. Leo Komarov, the man famously licked by Brad Marchand, for your Bruins fans. And Corey Perry, another pest. Um, we got a couple of young guns here. We got four more young guns. We got one more uh, hit. Most likely one of those UD game used jersey cards. Ian Cole, we're going to try and. Oh, there's a young guns there. Jeff Petrie, Jack Eichel. Here's a. Uh, Michael Matheson. Nico Heischer. Number one overall pick. That's a good card. Go ahead and sleeve that up. Michael Lemon Islander. Braden Shea. That's a name. Took me a while to get Kerry Lettinen. Brady Shea. That's how you say that's how you pronounce that guy's last name. Shea. S-K-J-E-I. Nice job, Brady. So we're gonna sleeve up Nico. Um of the Young Guns, Brock Besser, Nico Heischer, Charlie McAvoy. Uh, I, I want to say um, Kyle Connors in this set too, but I could be wrong. Um, but Nico is a good one. It's not McAvoy, which we are hunting, but yeah, John. Uh, you can't do worse than the first overall pick and a player that's contributed for a team that's actually pretty good. Might have a canvas card in here. Nope, it's another Young Guns. Matt Stajan. 
Matthew Benning, Dion Fanouf, the pylon himself, Andre Sequeira, Philip Scheidel. Put him over there. So we've got five. No, we got four of our young guns because that's a UD portrait over there. Mikhail Bodker, Patrick Line with the, the funny Jets toque on, and Scott Wilson. So we are, if you're watching on YouTube, we are responding to messages, comments, and um, people, folks, chiming in on, on Facebook because we are live on Facebook right now. At some point, we'd like to be live on, uh, there's a insert card there. We'd like to be live on YouTube, but we're using our phone, my phone, um, because my, <laughs> my uh, webcam is not good enough to zoom in so like you can really it's a beautiful thing about these phones Michael Froelich Clark MacArthur Alex Goligoski here's a Tyler Sagan Shining Stars card number 10 we'll put you over there in our hits pile Alec Martinez Pavel Zaka Zach Wierenski and Jordan Stahl so I'm well aware that I'm probably pronouncing some of these names wrong guys um don't flame me in the comments, because I am not reading them. And if I do happen to read them, I don't care. There's a Taylor Hall himself. Boy, he's a good fit in Arizona. I'd like to see him resign there. That's a first overall pick. He's never he's never played. I feel like he, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's just me, but I feel like Taylor Hall has had to carry every team he's ever played for. And I feel like the Coyotes might be the might be the best all around team that he's played for. Plot there. There's a Young Guns John Gillies UD Canvas. That's a beautiful card. We'll sleeve that up for you, Johnson. Anytime you get a U Young Guns Canvas card, sleeve that puppy up. Matt Dumba, Kevin Bieksa, and Matt Molson. Um, yeah, I'm a. Oh, we forgot to wave to you too, buddy. So yeah, I'm I'm a I'm a big believer. And Taylor Hall of not the, the guy doesn't get enough credit. I think he's one of the three or four best players in the league all around. Two hundred foot game. I love Sagan. I think Sagan's a better goal scorer than him. We'll put it that way. I think I think Sagan's better on the offensive side of things, just purely from that standpoint. Um, but if I would rather have Taylor Hall on my team, I think it's unfair. That Taylor Hall doesn't get the recognition for being one of the best three or four players in the league. Jason Demer, Demers, Sven Barshi, Jacob Chitrin, Peter Mrazek had a rough game the other day. Josh Morrissey, Adam Henrique. That is Malkin. Nice portrait card. Celebrate the goal. And Gustav Nyquist. Nyquist. Don't need to put an extra S in his name. I can't tell sometimes if these if these packs have a hit in it. Nope, not hitting there. There's a Jared Spurgeon. Andy Green. We got a Philippe Denault. Here's a TJ Brody. UD Canvas. We'll put that with our hits. I'm not going to sleeve it up just yet, but we will afterwards. Coolman. There is a Big Z. Enjoying himself in the practice jersey. Mitch Marner, also enjoying himself, probably in an actual NHL game, and Braden Holpe. Again, appreciate you guys joining us tonight. I don't want to take too, too long with you guys, but we just, we're, I'm, I'm just so pumped. Uh, hockey's back, guys. I'm a Bruins fan, so it hasn't been all great. There's something hanging around back there, but we got Toivo Teravainen, Victor Arvidsson, who's another rookie who has an autograph in that 15-16 set. Frederick Anderson. Hey, Johnson! It was sticking in the back there. We finally did it. So, what we've been doing is we've been hunting this Charlie McAvoy Young Guns card. I have been fortunate enough to pull the UD Portraits Charlie McAvoy rookie card, but this is this is the the Bruins rookie of that particular year. We'd like to see DeBrusque too. We got a couple of packs left. I think we have maybe is that four. We got two more Young Guns cards, um, but we are going to sleeve this sucker up and we're going to put them on a stand. 
I see that you're here watching with us, Johnson. This card is sharp. Um, that top left corner is probably a bit soft. The rest of the corners look good. Let me just take a closer look off camera here. Uh, that's a candidate to be. Uh, that that card is a. That's a grading candidate. If if you're gonna p if you're PC and Charlie McAvoy. That's a that's a card that's worth sending in to have graded. That might bring you back a nine and a half. Might bring you a ten. The surface of the card's fantastic. The edges are great. That top left corner is the only one that on camera looks a little funny. But when I took it off camera, that's a beaut. We are gonna definitely put that guy in a hard sleeve. Seeing as that's what we were hunting for, it was hiding on us. I was gonna move on. I almost didn't even check because I was like, eh, there's probably nothing back there. So we did it. Mom. And I know you guys can hear my son. Mama. Oh. Hey, buddy. What's going on here? What are you doing with the banging and the crashing and the screaming? Shh. Dada's doing something. I know. Your room's dark. It's dark in here. Granlin. Who cares about the rest of these cards, right? We got what we were looking for. Sebastian Ajo. And Adam Larson. Yeah, John. It's We got a couple of Johns watching tonight. Considering I've opened a few of these. John's opened a few of these. Neither one of us have seen one. I'm just glad that we were able to pull it. And we pulled it live. Obviously, I would much rather have pulled that Jack Hughes card that you pulled, John. That would have been fun to pull live. P.K. Subban. Henrik Zetterberg. There's a Ryan Johansson red Shining Stars. It's a variation on the base card that you saw earlier. Put that over here in our heads. Patrick Berglund, Nick Holden, and D David Savard. Might be one of the more underrated defensemen in the league. Come on, it'd be nice if we saw a DeBrusque too. Let's get all the hits. I mean, I don't want to sacrifice my hits out of my box. I love these portrait cards. Miko Rantanen, who is also a rookie in the 2015-16 class that we'd like to see come out of that box that I bought. Vasilevsky, not in there. There's a Radic Fasca. I'm not sure what, what my phone's zooming in on Joe Thornton and his sweet beard. There's a Brandon Carlo. Got that Series 1 checklist. Vegas Golden Knights. Got the, what was that, uh, Mark andre Fleury, and who else? Braden McNabb. And Jacob Markstrom. Underrated goalies. We got four six-packs left. One more Young Guns. We got probably one more hit in here. I don't think we get, we might see a third Portraits card. Or a third um, Shining Stars card, but unlikely. Hampus Lindholm, Mark andre Vlasic. Perot, Phil Kessel. There is a portrait in here. Hey, there's a Miko Random. He does not look like he knows what's going on in that picture. Put you over there, buddy. There's Ryan Kessler, Carey Price, and Derek McKenzie. So let's see what we have here, guys. We got one, like I said, we got one hit. Typically, one in every 24 packs, you're going to see a hit out of this box. Typically, it's a UD game you use jersey. There's our Young Guns card. Paul Martin. Joel Ward. It's a center, so it's definitely not... Um, it's not another McAvoy. Lucas Walmark. That's right. We hit the McAvoy. Jonathan Quick. Jacob Voracek. Brett Pesci. And Sergei Bobrovsky. So, of all these boxes, strangely enough, it's uh, Jake DeBrusque that's eluded us. Here's Travis connecting. Mark andre Fleury again. Nick Dowd. Leon Dreisaitl. Hampus Lindholm. we got a fourth UD Portraits card. Tori Krug. And Nick Schmaltz. Three more packs before this feels thick. Actually, that might be... I don't know, man. 
John, would you be super upset if you uh, didn't have a relic card or an autograph? Well, it means uh, unlikely that you're going to have an autograph card, but would you be upset if you didn't have a relic card come out of here now that you get your McAvoy Young Guns, Braden Point? Um, if you're familiar with um, Phil's Pulse, Phil Hughes, former Yankees pitcher, Twins pitcher, uh, he has a channel that's fantastic. He loves Braden Point. Uh, at one point when he launched his channel, he was doing like mail time, showing the cards he came in. It was always Braden Point cards coming in. Uh, he was having um, tens, PSA tens graded of Point for a while. Tyson Berry, Adam Lowry. We've got another superstar, Mikhail Granlund. Andrew Shaw playing a little soccer before the game. Probably thinking about whose life he can ruin by uh, throwing him under the bus. Not a big fan of Andrew Shaw. Just kidding. That's Daniel Carcillo. But they it may remind me of him. Mike Hoffman. Matthew Kachuk. Speaking of little douchebags. And Patrick Maroon. Boy, that. how do you guys feel about that? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm glad we got it too, John. How do you guys feel about the Matthew Kachuk thing with... Uh, With uh, possibly clipping Shifley's ankle there. I know that uh, the team was pretty upset at him. I'm not sure that I saw anything there that really made me upset. And I'm not a big fan of Kachuk, but... I don't know... Uh, Project. I don't know that I saw anything there that made me really upset as a, as a Kevin Hayes. That's a weird card. I like that. Who's that? Uh, Luongo? Who's... As James Reimer, as the goalie. I don't know if he's making a save or if Hayes is scoring a goal, but that's a good, cool looking card. Paul Byron, Jake McCabe, and Vincent Trocek. So if there is a hit, it's in this last pack. Um, we put our, our hits aside here, and this is more so I can sleeve you up, John. Whether they're worth much or not, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure that I agreed with, uh, with the hate that. Hey, they're hit. So we did. We saved it for the last. That's crazy. I'm just going to do this move. Just going to do that move. We'll do it last. Simeon Varlamov, Oliver Ekman Larson, there's a Matt Murray, Josh Bailey, Tuka. Two U's, two K's, two points. And our last card. That looks like a. Flames, Calgary Flames. Mark Giordano, the captain of the Calgary Flames. You got a black jersey. I don't know if they're, uh, are there away jerseys, red or black? Is that a third jersey? Or... Sorry about the screaming child in the background again, but yeah, it's always nice getting a, a card that might be a third jersey or odd, oddball jersey. I don't know. I, I'd be lying if I said I knew what we were looking at with Mark Giordano. 90% of his cards could be this black jersey. Who knows? Um, throw that over there. So, Johnson, uh, again, check out Hatcher Copies. There's information. You can find it in the link below if you're on YouTube. Facebook, I will also post it. We've, we've mentioned him in our uh, a post previously, but... Um, Hatrick Hobbies, he's kind of new to the game, but doing some good stuff. He's going to be doing some live breaks coming up, so check him out. Add him, Facebook, like him, thumbs up, subscribe. I don't know if he's on Instagram at any point, but I'm sure he will be. Whatever you do on Instagram, Pinterest, um, Tinder, whatever, whatever platforms he's on. But that was what we were hunting for, guys. It's not an autograph, not a relic. It's a Charlie McAvoy Young Guns card. Um, nailed it. I'm sure folks are going to jump off now. But if you're still here, we are hunting for this man's rookie card. There he is, Connor McDavid. The next great one. I'm going to leave him up in the background. Everybody else is coming down. Because that's what we're hunting for. And any young guns, we didn't buy um, Upper Deck. These aside for you, Johnson. We'll save them up. Um, we did not buy Upper Deck. We bought OPG Platinum, which uh, I I am a huge fan of the OPG Platinum. Love the new stuff. And in fact, 
when I went to the shop today, my plan was to buy a 2019-20 OPBG Platinum. I did not plan on buying a 2015-16. But uh, he was fresh out of the uh, the current year stuff. And he said, well, I got this Connor McDavid rookie year. And I said, well, we've been planning on... We've been planning on hunting that McDavid stuff, so here we go. Um, OPG Platinum has some awesome rookies. We touched on a couple of them when we were doing the other break there. Arvidsson and um, obviously McDavid, Artemi Panarin. Um, there's, there's, oh, that's that's sealed too. Um, there's, there's a lot of good rookies in here. So they have the marquee rookies. That's their version of the Young Guns and the OPG product. So they have a base. And they have OPG Platinum, which is their Chrome version. 2014-15 was the first year that they did this Chromium uh, OPG. Otherwise, it was just a regular OPG prior. This is the second year. Um, so, 20 packs, 4 cards a pack, 80 total cards. There's parallels, numbered cards. Uh, typically, one autograph per box. It's most common that you see a rookie autograph, but there are other versions of autographs in there. We're going to move this out of the way. We're going to leave Connor McDavid in the background for some mojo because we want a Connor McDavid rookie card. I'll even take the marquee rookie. Well, I mean, even, like, as if I was saying, like, I, if I got one or the other, I'll take them both if the sports card gods are watching. So these cards are going to be a little easier, a little difficult to get into, it looks like. There's a Max Domi. There is one of those marquee rookies we were talking about. Max Domi's in the set. We didn't mention him previously, so Pavel Datsuk, prior to his retirement. Uh, OPG Platinum, it takes the OPG base cards, and it gives us a chromium finish. It is a really beautiful looking card. It looks like it's a, got a refractor in the back there, too. I'll show you the back. Thank you, Datsuk, for giving us a card that's got a nice, lengthy career prior. Um, you can see you get your vitals, statistics, career totals, and a nice little uh, goofball photo up there. Just a copy of the back. Chase and Spezza, Heinrich Sedin, and Max Domi. Marquee rookie. Probably the third best rookie out of this set would be Domi, I would say. I think, uh, obviously, McDavid, Panarin, Domi. Maybe Hellebuck, who's coming out of here as well. You might like somebody else, or you might have a, a personal favorite. We're going to do it this way because there's only four cards coming out of here. We don't want to ruin even the back card. On the top, we have Jordan Eberle. we got a blue parallel. <laughs> We've got a Yammer Yager autograph. My wife is a huge Yager fan. Crystal. What? Got a Yammer Yager autograph. Woo! If you can hear her screeching in the back. It's not yours. Mine. Nope. She said it's mine. How much do you love me, though? I love you enough that I told you about it. That's well. I'm kind of bummed out. It was the second pack that we pulled an autograph out of, but it's a blue auto. That's crazy. We love that. It's not a. Uh, it's not a McDavid rookie card. Blue rainbow autographs. Yammer Yager. Congratulations. You have received a trading card that includes an autograph of Yammer Yager. That's beautiful. So I actually PC Yammer Yager. My wife likes to give me a hard time. Um, I don't. I actually don't sell any Yammer Yager stuff. It all goes in my personal collection. So this will also be added. It's a sticker auto. Who cares? That's awesome. That's sick. Anybody watching? We're putting Yager in the back there. We're going to sleeve him up. I have a couple of Yager relic cards, but I do not have any Yager autographs. Well, now I do. Now I have a, a Yager autograph. My wife's saying give it to me like she's going to do anything with the hockey cards. That's funny. Give me a second, guys. Gonna... So as a Frank Thomas collector, that's my that's my hockey version. Well, Shanahan and Yager. I know. <laughs> John, yeah, yeah, John. Could, if it's going to be if it's going to be a classic player, and it's not going to be Shanahan. I'm not selling it. I just sold you. I PC Yager. You just you you gave me Yager cards for my PC. You know that I don't sell Yager stuff. Anyways, Miko Rantanen, one of the top five rookies of the set. That's a good pack. And a Ryan Johansson All Stars card. 
No, we're not selling. We're not selling the Yager card. Even if Crystal didn't love him more than she loves me, um, that card would be going into my personal collection. Hey, maybe we'll be lucky. It's a hot box, and we'll get a couple autos. No, there's another uh, Crystal Tang, Nick Short rookie card, and a Marion Hosa. Did he say refractor on the back? It says rainbow. Rainbow on there. My interwebs missed that part. Well, that's why we're watching Jonas Hiller. We get the Domi. We get the Rantanen. We get a Yager Auto. Now we just need a Connor McDavid rookie card. There's a another PC card, IPC. Patrice Bergeron as a Bruins fan. NHL All-Star card. Jimmy Howard. That looks like a Lundquist card in the background there. I got some stuff falling over here, guys. Sorry, give me one second. Those are nice looking cards with the, uh, the logos in the back. R35. I'm not sure what that is. If you want to pause the video and take a look at the, uh, I'm sure that's a, I'm sure that's some sort of, <laughs> that's not going to work. Sorry guys. I'm sure that's some sort of parallel, base card parallel, because that's the regular base card. Card number 72, that's not a rookie card. The marquee cards are M. With the number following it. Joe Thornton on the front there. We got a Flyers rookie card of Anthony Stolarz. Unfortunately, Carter Hart's not going to give him any uh, playing time. Hey, there's Hellebuck. We're hitting all the top rookies minus McDavid and Pecorine. I think Hellebuck deserves... The Vesna Trophy this year. That Winnipeg Jets team, sure, they got a couple of good players. His numbers, their defense. Go take a look at their uh, who they started the season with as their as their top six defenders. That man, right there, put his team on his back and carried them to the playoffs. He deserves the Vesna Trophy over Vasilevsky, over Tuka Rask, Connor Hellebuck. That man deserves the Vesna Trophy. I've been saying it. I've been saying it for a while now. Give the man the Vesna. Here's a Justin Falk, NHL All Stars card. We got another. Braden Holpe. Ooh, that's an Oilers. No, it's not. Don't don't know what I'm talking about. That's a Rick Nash with the Rangers. And Andreas Athanasio. That's an R39. I don't know what that is. I don't know why. I don't know what this card is with the uh, the logo in the background. Um, I haven't noticed anything numbered yet. I could be wrong, which is fine. We're not looking. We're not as concerned with short prints with this set. Obviously, we're looking for a McDavid rookie card. That's what we want the most. There's a Nal Yakupov. I have an autograph of his that I was very excited about after him being taken first overall. Thomas Vanek. Hey, hey, there's a Gretzky. I don't know what that is, that R card. And a Colton Pareko rookie card. I forgot he was in that set. Not numbered. I don't know what that is. I don't know what the, the R one. I don't know what the R's are. If John or, or Chez or or the other John are watching that know what that is, I, I would love to know what card that what what that set is. R. I'm gonna look at the I don't know what it is. I'm not too worried about it right now. We're not looking that's not something that we're super concerned about. Move my camera here just a second. Don't forget, we got Panarin. Here's Tuca. There's Noah Hannafin rookie card. 
I think it's a, like a retro card. Patrick Kane, NHL All-Stars. And Jake Verton and rookie card hiding in the back there. Ooh, I'm hoping that's a short print of some sort. That's a that's a f Flames card. It's not a uh, McDavid, I don't think. Marion Gabrick. Sam Bennett rookie card. That's a Trax retro set checklist. Thank you, buddy. It's not a checklist, but it's a retro set. I'll, I'll take that as an explanation. Jonathan Bernier. And UC Saros didn't have the greatest game the other day, but uh, he's going to take over for Rene very soon. He's uh, he's looking like the next. Thanks, John. And thanks, John. There's Kadri on the back, one of our least favorite players, being Bruins fans. There's another tracks coming up. Yaroslav Halak, Cam Talbot, another goalie, it's Jimmy Howard, and Nazem Kadri. No rookie cards in that pack. These are such nice looking cards, guys. I'm a huge fan of the of the Platinums. I really am. They're, they're just, it's sh sharp looking cards. What's that in the back there? Come on now. It's one of those die cuts. There's a couple advertised per box. Anze Kopitar, Team Logos. Not numbered. In case you were wondering. You see a gold card coming up? I don't think you're right. Oh yeah, look at that. The gold cards, it's not numbered, but too bad it's Corey Schneider. I got that should have been a great player. Not that he was a bad, not that he's a bad player, but after coming out of that uh, that Vancouver system, I had high hopes for him. Jaden Swartz, we got a Vancouver Canuck player there. Something sticking back here. David Backus. Jake Vertinen. Another Jake Vertinen rookie card. Tyler Bozak. Thank you, John. I'm not familiar I'm not super familiar with, with some of this stuff. I just like the uh Theo Peachy Platinum. There's another one of those logo die cut cards. There's a Andres Pavlik. Wayne Simmons, it's Jamie Ben, Team Logos, and Nicholas Patan. One of the marquee rookie cards that we don't give a crap about. We've actually had really good luck with the marquee rookies. So we have seven packs left. Seven packs left to see a Connor McDavid marquee rookie. Even a base would be nice, although we did see this. Really fun Yammer Yager card. They are they are really good looking cards. There he is. There's Sid the kid. That's a nice looking card. Followed by Eric Carlson. John, I'm gonna put this in a pack for you, buddy. Your absolute favorite player in the entire NHL. If you could go on a date with any NHL player, it would be Eric Carlson, right? And Malcolm Subban. Whoop. Dropped him. Is that a... Oh. All right, six packs left. Martin Jones, James Neal, 
Matt Pemple. Pumple. Boy, that would have been nice if that was a... He did gross to the, uh, the Crosby or to the Carlson? Go away. Oh, that's John Hendren. Yeah. Yeah, it's gross. Man, that would have been nice to be the uh, a refractor. McDavid and Victor Hedman. But he... You love Carlson. You secretly, absolutely love Eric Carlson. Let's just say it on the back. Yeah, Henrik Lundqvist, Nathan McKinnon, Sergei Plotnikov, and then an NHL All Stars card. There's a couple packs left, guys. We already hit our autograph. If you can see it in the background, um, we do have the UD portrait just because we were trying to give ourselves a little mojo. Um, our autograph is a blue rainbow Yarmir Yager autograph. That's a rookie card for Calgary. It is Sam Bennett, Milan Yucic, Devin Shore, and Brad Marchand. We have not seen a Connor McDavid rookie card, and we have three packs left. I mean, it wouldn't. We saw the Max Domi, we saw Connor Hellebeck, we saw a couple of the big. Mika Rantanen, we saw a couple of the big, uh, the big rookies early. So if we don't see as much as I'd like to see Connor McDavid, it wouldn't be a complete loss. We've seen a bunch of them. Denis Potvin, Legends card. Ron Francis. Oscar Lindbergh. That's numbered. Two of 75, Red Prism. Poppins a rainbow. Ronnie Francis might be one of the most underrated players in the history of the game. Look at this. 1,798 points. The man scored almost 1,800 points. Was fifth, fifth all-time? Bet you didn't know that. Well, some of the people watching might know that, but that's a good-looking card. Red Prism. Two packs left, guys. And we have not seen Connor McDavid rookie card. There's the gold card. It's a Zetterberg. Number to 149. 47. It's a good looking card. Patrick Hornquist and Ryan Hartman. Got the Daniel City on the front. So, this is our last pack, guys. We did not see. Sadly, a single Connor McDavid rookie card. And we're going to uh, slow roll this last one here. Appreciate you guys joining us. Um, Eliash on the cover there. We got a got a rainbow card. Um, appreciate you guys joining us again. We were searching for the uh, the McDavid. We didn't we didn't get one. Did not see one. Ocposo. That is a, uh, a white ice, number two, what is that? 199, Patrick Sharp. It's a bit of a bummer. A lot of good star cards. We saw some, some, Crosby, uh, some Crosby stuff. Um, that was the hit of the box, though. Yarmir Yager, Blue Rainbow. JJ, what WWJD, what would Yammer do? Or what would Yager do? That's a beautiful card. If we're not gonna hit uh if we're not gonna hit a McDavid rookie card, we might as well hit a PC auto. I'm like that's so I'm so excited. That's going right into my collection, not my wife's collection, because she doesn't have one. She does love Yager though. You'd think after 20 years in the league, the guy would have a better autograph than that. But anyways, we did see our, uh, I, put it, I put it away, guys. I want to, I'm sorry, John. I was going to show off your, uh, your young guns. There we go. We'll get rid of them. We don't care about him. That's what we were searching for in the 1718. We were looking for the Charlie McAvoy Young Guns. We're gonna have to come back with another one of these boxes. We we want to uh, we want to find that McDavid. 
but can't do better than PC Auto, guys. Appreciate you checking out the video. It's been a bit of a long one. We're going to throw it up on YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, uh, check out in the description, Hat Trick Hobbies. Um, gentleman over there, John, he uh, he donated that uh, Young Guns box for the video. I shouldn't say donated, but sponsored the video by providing that. Um, we're going to continue hitting you guys with some breaks. Um, we're still looking at trying to get our hands on, on something that's got both... I mean, it may not be that we're, we're definitely not going to open the upper deck uh, just yet, the 0506. But uh, at some point, we'd like to. But we we want to find some uh, Crosby, Crosby boys. It's getting a little, we're getting a little late. I'm getting a little tired, but um, we do want to keep looking for those ho hockey rookie cards. That's what's hot right now. Um, but uh, the autographs are fun too. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, check out our uh, Facebook page. We'll have our web page up shortly. Check out Hat Trick Hobbies. Um, throw that up the one on the screen one more time. The sponsor for today's video provided that uh, 1718 Upper Deck box. And uh, we'll see you guys at the next break. Appreciate you guys. Go Bruins.